What's going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today we're we're talking Tony's favorite features. And why? Because who's Tony's favorite place for paintball? Uh, I'm, I'm here right now. It's at LomoPaintball.com. So today we're going to kick it off and if this series goes well, we're going to continue on to hoppers and tanks and masks and all of the good stuff. But my top favorite feature of, was it five? We're doing five? High-end high electronic. electronic markers. We're kicking it off with electronic guns. A lot of you guys own, you know, Idols and CS3s and GOR5s and the brand new Die MXR and Shocker Eras. You guys out there, a lot of you have high-end markers. I'm going to go through each one and give you, is it, how many, how many you want, Mark? You get one feature each, right? I don't want this, this isn't a, a review. This isn't an overview of all the features of the marker, which you do. So, this is, what does Tony like the best about this MXR? So I only get, I can only pick one you of each? one. Uno. All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna, I got it in my hand. You want me to kick it off with the MXR or grab Why it? Why not? No, that's, hey, we're gonna hit them all, so we gotta all right, start somewhere. so, Die MXR, brand new on the market. Mark has only given me one feature. One. Think about it. Is it the anno? Is it the trigger? Is it the new bolt? Is it... Well, see, now I'm turning into the sales pitch. I Correct. don't want to... Yeah, no, 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 no. We're going to go, I think... I was going to say the pressure sensor. That's real time when you got your tank screwed on in the back. But I'm going to go with the brand new all aluminum sleeve. Their eye pipe. They've had four or five generations of this thing now, and they were all been plastic before. They finally have an aluminum breech sleeve. We know the old plastic ones, they would break and they would crack. So now Dye said, let's just make it out of aluminum, be done with it. Not only that, it's an O-ring style ball detent mark. So if this ever goes bad, you slap on a new O-ring. Uh, it comes stock with a 017 O-ring. So normally fits a lot of the size paint. You guys can simply pull this O-ring off if you guys are shooting smaller paint, put on either a 15 or, or, or put on a 16, a 15, you'd be have to shoot really small paint, but it's an O-ring detent designed all aluminum breech sleeve. So honestly, I know it seems silly, but it's a huge upgrade for, for the new die platform. So all aluminum breech sleeve with uh, change uh, O-rings that you guys can actually change out differentiating uh, paint size. So I think I really, really wanted to do the pressure sensor on the board, but I think this is a big, a big step in the right direction for them. Cool. See, that wasn't so hard. No, it, there's all of these guns have a ton of great features. So only picking one definitely limits me, but that's a beautiful one. Okay. Can, I, can I pick one too, even though it's Tony's favorites or should we save mine for another? We're going to save Mark. We're going to save Mark's for a different series. All right. I'm going to set the MXR off there. Um, I got an LV and R5 a Shocker Era and a Lux Idol. Which one do you want next? Oh, let's do the Shocker. Let's do the Shocker. Yeah. Okay, Because you've been playing era. with Shockers for a while, so I want to know what your favorite feature of the Shocker. Shocker Era, my favorite feature. It is a very, very nice, nice marker. It does have the quarter, quarter turn bolt system, but guess what? That's not going to be it. Uh, I'm honestly going to go with the Freak Barrel System on the Shocker. I know you guys are like, what? So you've got the freak barrel system here. Um, the reason I'm choosing this, first off, it comes with an auto cocker threaded barrel. A lot of the higher end guns are out there, are auto cocker threaded. The freak system has been around for a very long time. And the reason I chose the barrel here, you're gonna think I'm silly, eight inch XL inserts. So each of these inserts, if, no matter what um, you know paint you guys are shooting, it's always gonna fluctuate. So you guys can buy, different inserts for maybe 15 bucks each, all different sizes. So no matter what, a lot of people out there have a full kit of the Freak XL inserts because they know I went to this field and then I go to another field, paint sizes are different and it all shoots different. So I'm going with the Freak barrel on this bad boy, all American porting on here. Like I said, auto cocker thread coming out of the box. This uh, back can fit on tons of other high-end markers if you also own others. So for the era, I'm going the barrel system. It is a very good barrel system. It is, and the Freak has been around for a very, very long time. So, uh, like I said, the inserts in the back here are very affordable if you guys do want to change different bore sizes. So, that is very important for accuracy and performance. So, I'm going the Freak system on the Shocker Air Mark. There you go. What do you, what do you want next from behind me? Oh, let's hop on over to that LV-2. Planet Eclipse LV-2. Oh, boy. What a beauty. This is one of our projects. Uh, Project LV2's custom milling, custom anno on this bad boy. LV2, I'm going to say, honestly, the absolute ease of maintenance on this bad boy 
It, this is, um, you're talking a poppet, like lever valve design on this bad boy. Simply up and out with the bolt. There's three O-rings on this bad boy. And I believe, obviously this locks down, this pin locks down into the, uh, the ram. And when you pull this, this uh, back screw off, your rammer comes out, a couple drops of oil. I literally think there's only two or three O-rings on the entire rammer itself. So the ease of maintenance, say, you know, you're taking apart, just in case you guys are new, you're taking apart, you know, a spool valve mark or something like the Shocker Era. The whole bolt comes apart. There's so many different O-rings on the, the spool valve operations to replace all those O-rings. I mean, you're probably talking 10 to 15 different O-rings by the time you get this entire bolt system apart um, compared to just like two or three on the inside rammer here on the LV platform. So super, super ease of maintenance on these bad boys. That would be my favorite feature about the uh, LV2, let alone you break a ball right here, literally like I did, pull that bolt up and out. You can run a, you run a swab right through that bad boy and uh, be on with your day. So ease of maintenance, 100%. How do you feel about that, Mark? Good choice? Yeah, yeah. I can't argue with any of these. These are your favorites. That's I mean, fair. That's it's subjective. Fair. Somebody else is going to like something else, right? No, 100%. Um, where, are we, where are we headed to next? Uh, let's hit that Geo. The Geo. Oh, it's on this side. Planet Eclipse Geo R5, one of their newest babies out there on the market. Everyone knows about the CS3, but this, you know, it looks similar. New sleek lines and all that good stuff. Is that your favorite feature that it reminds you of the CS3? No, it's not. Oh. It's not. I think my favorite feature, other than the redesigned bolt, I only get one. So I'm going to go with the ease of the access to the eyes and the eye covers. So simply no tools. Obviously it's brand new. You got to give it a tug, but here you go. So you have access right up front to your double A's easy, but I'm talking I'm talking in here. If you guys have any broken paint in your breech or need to, uh, you know, replace a baldy tent, Completely toolless. I slid the front grip off. I'm gonna go, boop. And then there we go. I have access right there to the eyes and everything completely toolless. And um, they actually carry extra, I think this one, yeah, they have extra detents that are actually hidden inside the grip here too. So I like that. Ease of getting in there and cleaning. As we know, obviously you're shooting brittle to tournament paint through these high-end markers. You guys are bound to break a ball. And if you guys wanna get your eyes cleaned up, within under a minute, no tools necessary. This is gonna be my favorite feature for the GOR5. Mark, how do you think How do you think I did on that one? Would uh, Do you like it too? I, I mean, I do. I feel like that's a little bit of a weak favorite feature because it's like toolless eyes are on a handful of markers nowadays. And then I don't even know, is that unique to the GO? Like is, is the CS3 the same way? Uh, yes, the CS3 is. Yeah, I mean, I get it, you're getting that for cheaper with this, right? But yes, uh, yeah. all right, let's let's finish I, it off. I high. like that though. I'll, obviously, those are high end guns. You are you will break a brittle ball in there, it will happen, no doubt. Yeah, We're but I'm so block. rich with my high end gun that I have somebody else to clean it for me, Mark's, so I don't worry about Mark's it. out there balling. Uh, on to the fifth one. This is it, the fifth and final. Uh, this is going to be the Lux Idol, and for me. He's going to do something weak, like, oh, the locking lever feed neck. How'd you know? Because oh, I can read you like a book. Nope, not today, Mark. This is going to be my favorite feature. Welcome to the, Lux the side display Battery screen, baby. Firing mode NXL. You see it? You got I it? I do. Because obviously now a lot of people, when they first came out, like, oh, man, you're going to get shot there. How are you going to get shot on the side unless you literally get bunkered? Your hand is covering. You're, when you hold the gun, you're literally left or right handed. If you're left handed, your left hand's really covering that screen. You won't be able to see it. If you're right handed, normally your thumb is going to be covering that small screen. And this is how you program it. It's got full color and you guys don't have to just go off of a, a blinking light in the back to know what, are you in ramping? Am I in semi? You've got a full color uh, display screen right here on the side. So I think that's going to be my favorite feature on the Lux Idol is going right, to be. I'm giving you. I'm giving you my favorite Lux feature because I don't think you're actually going to let me have my own series about this. What is it? It's that it's super expensive and not every poor ass noob can afford it. So I feel special when I play with it. And it's shiny, and they're really pretty too. Oh, some, that's two features. Noob. <laughs> Man, there's Mark again. He's mean as a dog back there. See, that's why he doesn't get his own featured. So okay, uh, went through you know five top end guns. If you guys like it. Put in the comments below, first off, what is your your favorite feature about any one of these markers? And second off, if you guys wanna see another one, 
let in the comments below, hey, I wanna see you do uh, you know, hoppers or favorite feature about each goggle. Whatever it may be, put it in the comments below. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if not, I'm still gonna be here anyways. Thanks for choosing us. It's right here, lomopaintball.com. Bam, the comments with you wanna know his favorite features of slide shorts. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord.